welcome to part 52 of our Shadowbringers Let's Play. Last time, we completed a dungeon in the last quest of Shadowbringers and came face to face with Emmett Felk. Um, unfortunately, he cut down all of the Scions, Cha-Cha started leaking light, and Graha is alive. That's the one good thing. Graha is alive and came to save us, and we're not sure in what form he has saved us, uh, but it seems to have to do with all of the souls that that were split um, when the original world split into many stars. Uh, apparently Cha-Cha and Arbor are two halves of, I guess, one soul, so they have joined together to fight um, and hopefully keep that light from leaking out. But we're gonna jump right into the Dying Gas, our last trial in Shadowbringers, and hopefully come face to face with Emmett Selk again. I really hope that all of this light is going to be all of the people from all the other stars who are split from the same soul. All the warriors of light and darkness. Show your vaunted strength and I shall expose the lie of your fragmented existence. You know, I'm kind of glad there's not a race of people like this somewhere, because they are absolutely terrifying. Like, they're giants. But that staff was cool. Nice little pop of pink crystal.
not sure where I'm supposed to be, so we're gonna be here. I don't know, my soul is only burdened when the Asians are doing their stuff, so I think we're Did we actually defeat an Asian? 
Is he actually gone for real? Or will he come back someday? As they do inhabiting bodies and stuff. Oh my gosh. Alright, I feel like I need to get better at that one, but we made it. We did it. Now what? We're alone. We cut a hole right through him. That's enough, Zelda. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he still stands. Remember. Remember us. Wait, did we just take out... I guess there's still two Asians, but... Remember that we once lived. I can't believe we actually took him out. I felt like we weren't going to. Is he really gone though? Because they keep coming back, right? We can trap them in crystals, but they keep coming back. It's over. Emmett Selk is no more. More importantly, how do you fare? What 
life's gone, isn't see. it? Her ether. It is... It is as it used to be. As a disciple of Zodiac, the Asian was the darkness to your light. I can but assume that when you set your strength against his, the light within you was spent. No, it's more than that. Under the strain of that incredible flood of ether, your soul had begun to break apart. Yet now it seems somehow restored. I tried to help you before the battle, but Emmett Selk stopped me. So, how did you... exactly what did you... Can you tell us what happened? Oh my gosh, have we ever told them about our birth? This is beautiful. Just these contrasting colors. And help from a hero of this world? Yeah. I see. Oh, Graha. Thanks, Zelda. Thank you. Where to start? I believe I owe you all an apology, and you, most especially. Does this mean that he gets to travel with them, though? Like I think he wanted? Let's get out of here first. I'm tired, we'll leave the lecture for later. It is good to see you awake, yeah. I think we're all happy to see you. <laughs> well, it is good to be awake. I feel like he's already cried more than any any other character in here. Such a sad cat boy. Or happy. <laughs> Doesn't really seem to matter. Are we gonna see yours yet? No, this is Yulmore. Because we've still got that whole Garlean situation going on. So, those bad souls dove straight into the ocean over there, didn't they? <laughs> uh, all, all I could see from here was the whale, Master Chai. Twas surely Alphno and those friends of his. They did something heroic, mark my words. You need only look up there for proof of that. As you say, my love. They're sure to be back any moment now. Any moment. How are we going to get out, though? That whale disappeared. They are coming back, aren't they? I couldn't bear the thought of... <laughs> Poor Lady Chai. There, there, dear. Everything will be all right. I 
we just washed up on shore. Greetings! You all right? Welcome back! <laughs> Interesting. I feel like this is one of the only ones where it hasn't been like everybody joining up together, like all of the others get, which makes sense because we're not in that world. But I guess maybe the patches will will figure out how we get back and deal with all that's going on. He'd be swimming. Anyway, the yeah. whole way back. Heavens. <laughs> Heavens. Yeah, he just Take learned me. how to swim for this expansion with me. Alphano! Oh, hells. I feel like Orianger wasn't much of a swimmer either. Or at least didn't like it. Wait! Where's Orianger? <sighs> He must have fallen behind. But shouldn't we look for him? He'll wash up sooner or later. For the love of Alphano! <laughs> oh, where's our Welcome friend? back, dear ones! And thus did salvation come to the first. Hmm. The lamps of Amarot will fade along with Emmet Selk's enchantments, and the depths shall be as once they were. We'll be able to visit again, though, because there's quite space. Right? We still have to explore inside Mount those Gorg tiny homes. will one day fall, and the Talos below yield to wind and rain. This tale, too, will fade with time, passing into legend as the world heals and moves on. Nevertheless. Thanks, Alda. Oh, everyone is so happy to see them. I forgot everybody was holding down the floor to the posterium. As ether obeys the cycle, as death and decay gives way to new life. And our Burgess experiences too. I was worried that he'd like disappear when they joined together. Does he get to rejoin his friends? So too do the memories we share inspire others to rise to greatness. For we who walk before may lead those who walk after. Your road goes ever on, as does your story, as does your legacy. Such is the hero's lot, to touch the lives of countless others. Excuse me, you're the warrior of darkness, aren't you? Hmm? Where are you from, really? 
And how did you get to be so strong? Excuse me? Totally from around here. <laughs> oh. Okay, we still have to go talk to the Crystal X Arch. By your deeds has the blinding light been banished from these skies, and the Sin Eaters driven to retreat. Although our many hurts will be years in the mending, I have faith that this world and her people will one day be whole once more. And are you going to stay with them to fix it, or are you coming with us? Because I feel like in that one small scene that Chacha and the XR had, he said he wanted to have a conversation and travel with someone. And I think it might be the Scions. With no rejoining in prospect, the Source need no longer fear the coming of an Eighth Umbral Calamity. Well, at least that weight has been lifted. And with that triumph, the future from which you came will no longer come to pass. Yet here you still stand. Is it the magic of the tower? So I do. I wonder if that other age continues onward somehow, cut adrift from time's flow. Or have I simply etched myself a place upon this new block of history? Time's a curious thing. Either way, this is an unexpected development. As the summoner of your souls, my death was meant to release you back to oh. your world. Well, this may be a problem. Yet I am very much alive, and you are still stuck here in the first. I believe I speak for us all when I say that we are happy to postpone our return if it means your life is spared. We will seek out another way. We will? Besides, I never had any intention of rushing home. There are people here I still need to thank, and this means I might actually have time to do so. But there's some stuff going on in yours, I guess, still, though, isn't there? Wasn't there that, like, poison that was supposed to wipe out everybody? Or are they not doing that because the calamity is not coming? Yet we dare not neglect our comrades in the source. Mistress Tataru, to name but one, <laughs> will be most anxious to know how things stand with us. That's true. So, you'll just have to make the journey alone for the moment. Be sure and give a full report to our fellow scions, will you? Oh, and we'd also appreciate any news you can bring us from back home. Then I see no reason to delay. I can open the path from here. I imagine we each have matters demanding our attention, so let this be a farewell for us all. Send word when you've resummoned our friend. Oh, and do try to ensure she arrives within the city <laughs> next time. <laughs> of course. I shall strive for utmost accuracy. No strange forests or unplanned passengers, I promise. to be honest i would have been terribly lonely if everyone had suddenly disappeared yeah that that would have been really strange but i understand that you have to go safe journey warrior of darkness i hope to see you again soon
Just a moment while I attune the portal. Then you can be on your way. When I was a boy, many long years ago, I yearned to stand tall as the heroes of Eld. You did get to do that. But like a fool seeking to pluck the stars from the heavens, my every attempt to reprise their deeds fell short. And then one day, an all but forgotten dream from my youth stood before me in the flesh. the horizon and beyond and saw I knew not what. All I knew was that I would give anything to stand at that hero's side. Hmm. And he not go Would that it was so easy. Is he stuck here? The glory of the heavens was ever beyond the grasp of those who never thought to reach for it. But if I have gained anything from all of this, it is the courage to stretch out my hand. Oh, that's sad. I hope he doesn't get stuck here when all the scions go. Do you hear me, Rahatia? This is no time for sleeping. Is he calling out to himself in our worlds? Because maybe now there's two of them because time. Ooh, we're going to find out what's going on in the source. I bet they're not pleased that Emmett Selk was taken out. Elidibus and... Xenos. Oh, Astinian. taking out Imperial Guards. To the West Gate! I want to know what's happening there! Same as the others. Struck down with a single blow. An unfortunate day to draw hmm. guard duty. And we didn't do it, so who did? Forgive me. These were your people. I guess maybe the Asians are upset that Emmett Selk is gone and the Calamity's not happening. We took advantage of this slaughter to slip into the palace. It is not for me to grieve them. <laughs> that was the Emperor! Uh -oh. What, would they actually take out the Emperor Wait! too? Wait! Oh! Well, maybe this gets rid of our Imperial problem. Your radiance! Oh my gosh. Killed by his own son. Gaius! You've missed your part in this, I'm afraid. Or at least the son's body. Identify yourself, demon! You were hoping for the Asian? 
Hmm. The Craven shed this skin and fled, rather than face me. A pity. I was looking forward to crossing blades with myself. Yeah, it's it's hard to tell who's more evil, Xenos or the Asians. But I cannot deny the feeling of satisfaction. It kind of feels like Xenos just wants power and stuff, and at least the Asians, you know, wanted to revive their their dead loved ones. Body and soul reunited at last. What now? The game continues, but the pieces have changed. Only if we trust in a paragon's words. A mistake I do not intend to repeat. is gone. Tore a hole into the rift. Oh. <sighs> well, maybe our Asian problem Xenos, is over. My foolish, greedy son. Was a second life not enough? What's the Empire too rich a prize to ignore? True freedom for our nation, our people, will never be won by a spoiled princeling. The burden of this throne is beyond you. Hmm. Tis you, father, who have struggled with this burden. Simply holding the Empire together has occupied your limited faculties. Wow. But you may take comfort in knowing that I have no intention of pursuing your tedious agenda. Nor am I interested in ruling over the Empire's lands. I came only to remove that which ruins my sport. I will not have my prey stolen by your petty wars and cowardly weapons. Oh my gosh. You would kill me just for that. I need no other reason. Any and all who interfere with my hunt will not do so twice. <laughs> I feel like Emmett Selk was a powerful foe, but like Xenos is definitely the scariest. I heard the Asians speak of Zodiac, an idolin. Even the will of this star is but a construct of our own making. We shall gorge upon their strength, and then, my friend, our contest shall begin anew. Gosh. <laughs> I feel like why the Emperor said no is because I don't know if Gaius can beat Xenos. Oh my gosh. Where are we even? Oh, we're back in Eorzea. Oh, all the way back at the Rising Stones, really? Okay, let's go. Oh man, I feel like Tataru is gonna be so worried. Like, everybody disappeared. And I don't think Chacha even left a body. <gasps> I wonder if the gift is a new outfit from Tataru, though. Maybe she was, like, busy in her grief making outfits for all of us. Well, she doesn't even seem to notice us. But, 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 Cha-Cha, is it really you? But, 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 how? When? We didn't think you'd be back for ages. Time moves in mysterious ways. Like, would you rather, right? She's, she's just like, um, so not even excited to see us. 
Oh, don't be daft. I just can't believe you're actually back. We heard the good news from your pixie friend, but nothing compares to seeing you in the flesh. As for the situation on this side, the Imperials are still eyeing our forces from afar. From what I'm told, the Garlean armies have been slow to react and seem reluctant to commit to any large-scale engagements. It's an odd sort of stalemate. Otherwise, we've yet to see any sign of that awful Black Rose weapon. We were warned of well, that's really good. That's what I was worried about on this side. I was like, Scions, why aren't you coming? There's still Black Rose to deal with. Oh, but I suppose we did call in an old friend to help out on that count. Hee hee, Kryle and I had a terrible time tracking him down, though it will be worth it to see the look on your face when you find out who it is. Anyway, I was just about to make contact with this helper of ours and then confirm the latest news from the front. Might you fancy having a rest while I do? Ah, the Warrior of Light, back where she belongs, just as if nothing had happened. Though you do seem different somehow, you'll have to tell me all about your adventures when we next have a spare moment. Until then, welcome back. <laughs> oh, we gotta wind up Grahatia. Oh. Is this a little bit? Oblivion has claimed him. Okay, so he is gone, gone. Emmet Salt gone. Lahabrea gone. I alone remain the last of the unbroken. Once more, I am moved to reevaluate the potential of these tattered souls. I mean, they keep defeating you, so. So maybe they're they're weak in some ways, but stronger in others. Ah, Xenos. Never did I dream you could overpower me so completely, possessed as I was of your body and all its uncanny strength. And now that I have shared with you the truth of this world and its reflections, who can predict how events will unfold? Not I yeah, because he's basically he's kind of an Asian now. If he can jump bodies, so. That's kind of a terrible thing to have in his hands. Emissary. What a poor jest that title has become. The flow of history has become muddled. Its currents wild beyond my capacity to redirect them. You have wrested the advantage, Hydaelyn. The thieving hands of your disciples tighten their grip on our star. The origins of the world remain hidden and its inhabitants ignorant of their broken existence, just as you and your creators desired. They celebrate the gift of imperfect life, uncaring, unknowing as we weaken and fade. But do not imagine yourself rid of us. Though your champion has indeed proven the most egregious obstacle to her ascendance, a barbed thorn in my side, she may yet be removed and cast into the abyss. Oh yes, it can be done. I will keep these heroes mired in the first, and victory will be ours at the last- Oh, so are the other scions going to have a time trying to get back to Yorzia? Back to the source. Warriors of darkness now, are they? Then their fate is decided. They shall meet the same end as those who came before, death at the hands of warriors of light. Oh, so are they gonna mess with another star? And the cycle continues. It seems you were right. Yes, there is something out there. In the... But it would mean crossing malms and malms of this infernal emptiness, which is rather unhealthy for living creatures, as I understand it. 
Even were we to restrict ourselves to brief forays, I don't like to imagine the effect it would have on our ether. But you still want to go, don't you? We may have saved the world, but we haven't reclaimed- Oh! Are we actually gonna bring the first, like, all the way back to its- What it was before the light started coming through? Ah, when you put it that way. Is he in too? What choice do we have? Well, of course I'm going with you. That's a family of war, isn't it? Okay, this seems dangerous, but interesting. Come, let's head back and prepare for this mad journey of yours. Thank you, Thancred. Blazing skies give way to gentle night. What hand can end the war of dark and light? Oh my goodness. I don't know. It just seems to be going on forever. Forever and ever. Trust party is unlocked. Trust allows you repeat previously completed main scenario dungeons with part of NPC avatars. You'll gain experience and level up in accordance with their duty participation. To bring up the interface, select trust under duty from the main menu. Okay, so it's basically like how we could choose to have uh, NPCs or real people with us. Furthermore, bolstered by your experience in the first, you're now able to accept new quests from job-related NPCs in the source. Or to ex access them, the following conditions must be met. Reach level 80, complete the relevant level 70 job quest, and complete the associated role quest line. All right. Quest locations and other details can be reviewed in the level 70 job quest journal entry. In addition, quests to unlock new content have now become available in the Crystarium. Rest well, Warrior of Light and Darkness, for two worlds of adventure await your return. Okay, we've got so much to explore still. <laughs> I feel like once the MSQ is done, it's like the real game can begin, but we've still got to get through to the end of Endwalker, and we've still got all the, all the patches in between. I feel like I'm still processing all of this. I feel like everything wound up on a pretty happy note and generally worried about Xenos and Elidibus. Uh, but it seems like everybody can take a little bit of a breather for now. I feel like it was it was quite it was quite scary there with Emmett Selk at the end. Um, I really didn't feel like we were actually gonna defeat him. I felt like he might wind up coming through and continuing to be an enemy, but I'm glad we were able to come together in a really neat way with like our Bert and Chacha for the end of that. So that was that was really neat. And it kind of closed the loop on on their whole interesting relationship throughout that. And I'm really glad that at the end it seems like he got to reunite with all of his warrior of darkness slash light friends over um in the first. So I'm I'm really interested to see what happens between Shadowbringers and Endwalker and where even and Walker is going to be located because if we traveled to the first and Elidibus seems to be who knows where and Xeno seems to be doing who knows what I mean I don't even know where in the world um, that's going to take place but we've got a lot of time to find out uh, thank you so much for watching I definitely appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did um, and once I'm done processing maybe I'll have even more thoughts but for now that's it uh, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time for more adventures who knows where. <laughs>